What's that you're holding, Joel? This is working. Uh, no. Oh, I know. What is it, Cohen? Um, a uh, bike pump. A bike pump, that's right. Yes. So here we have a bike that was kindly given away by one of Cohen's school buddies. So we have here problem child number one on the end. That's Cohen. Problem child number two right here. What's your name? Joel. Joel. I'm Ben and sleeping in the car over there is problem child number three, Dion. He might be along later. So yeah, here There's at BT. There's an airplane up there. There is an airplane up there. And it's going to go away very soon. <laughs> So here at BTT Revival, we don't just work on big boy toys, we work on regular boys toys too. Yes. And so today, we're going to get this bike back in action. Shouldn't be too much, it's just uh, come off its rails, I'm tires are flattened out of line. Yes. Joel's going to work on the bike pump there, make sure it's a nice smooth operation. So we're going to do this with some basic tools. What have He's we got here boys? The grass. We have a bike. Screwdriver, screwdriver. Maybe not show your butt to the camera, come around this side. <laughs> a thing we dig, and another thing we dig, and another thing we dig, and uh, still another thing we dig, and a bike. All right, so that's what you need that's to do this. Sprayer. You need four thingamajigs, two <laughs> screwdrivers, and a bike. And what's this? Tools. Tools. Okay, so you need tools as well. What have you got, Joel? A pumper to pump up the bike. A pumper to pump up the bike. Very good. So, when we're working on bikes, easiest way to work on them is upside down. So, Cohen, do you want to turn the bike upside down for us? Yes, I will. There we go. So, we've got our bike upside down. Let's get rid of our thingamajigs and our screwdrivers. There we go. All right. The first thing we're going to do is get our chain back on. So Cohen, you want to come over here, have a look, see if you can work out how to get our chain back on. So you can see here, the back axles come off, the chains come loose. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> so what do you reckon, Cohen? Um, let's see. Let's have a look at the actual bike first before we pick the tools. What do you think we need to do? Can I pump this up? We have to make that go onto that. Yeah. And that. Well, that's a good start. So you put that over there, help, like that. Help. And then somehow make it. this. We've got to get it over here yeah. too. All right. And then it can spin like okay. a wind blower. So does anything look wrong with this? Yes. What it, do you, where do you think it should go? Um that yo 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 that. Yeah. This? This this can this I is pump called, up the tire? This is the axle here. Mm? So this big bar that comes through the wheels, that's called the axle. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's held on to, this is called the frame. The frame. Yeah, so we hold, it's held onto the frame with these bolts. So how about we undo the bolts a little? Can, can on a both new sides. word? And then we can frame. push the axle back up onto the frame. Do you want to help with that, Cohen? Yes, I will. Okay, Let's so. push this up, push it further up. Now keep pushing it up. Oh, okay, so we've got to push it all the way in. Ow. All the way up here Wait, so we can get our... Mean? Wait, chain back put that on. up there. Yeah, so now we can try and get our chain back on. Okay, fingers clear. So we line those up with, this is called the sprocket. Confetti! Put that on there, look. Okay, that's a good start. We have a turning wheel. So now, we stretch this out. So that the chain's nice and tight, like that. Yep. So we've got that one lined up. So Joel, can you do up the other one for us on the other side? Um, up where? This, this one. So Joel, you're going to do up this nut here. So you need to find a socket that fits on that nut nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Can you find one that fits? How do the, can I find the other one? Hold on. Is this? Let's try. Put it on. Oh, too small. Uh, Let's go a lot bigger. Maybe up here somewhere. Ooh. Try that one. No, wrong end. There we go. This one goes on like that. Ooh, that feels good. Okay. So then we get a ratchet. Oh, can I do that one? Yeah. Can I do that? And more come no, ready. No. Here, Joel, use two hands. So you push it that way a bit and then pull it up. Push that way, pull it up. Okay, hold on, come loose here. There you go, keep going. That's how you do it. Woo! Like a chicken, but dancing, working on a... Nice and tight bike. now, so now you're going to have to use two hands. Two hands. Two hands, Joel. Get in there. 
Oh, that's good. Keep going until you can't do no more. Go again. Oh, there we go. I think you're good. That looks pretty tight. Okay. I think we did it. There we go. Now, can you come and do the other side for me, Joel? Okay. Okay, Joel, you want to do this one so you can pull up on this one? Pull up. Okay, keep going. Go oh, almost oh yeah getting it tight now two hands crank on it big crank here we go all right let's see how tight our chain is now oh that's just right just a little bit of flex not too much all right there we go we've got our chain on doing its job so now what we need to do is tighten this locking arm so see this arm Joel here. This is what stops the wheel undoing itself when you're riding it. So we need to do this screw up. Will you get the screwdriver for us? Okay. Where's the funny, funny leaf screwdriver? Oh, okay. Yep, let's use that. Mm -hmm. So you need to do this screw up here. Mm -hmm. It needs to be nice and tight. There we go. All right, good job. Okay, so next thing we want to do yes. is we want to lube our chain. So, what does that mean? We want to put some grease on it. Now, a lot of people would put WD-40 on it. That's not actually a very good idea. Because WD-40 is actually a cleaner. And it's going to clean all the grease out of the chains. You actually want to add grease to the chain. So, Joel, will you turn the wheel for us, please? Or the pedals, I should say. And we're just going to give this a light spray. Don't want to do too much. We'll get everywhere. Keep turning. Faster. Faster. There we go. So and that's got nice. grease all over the it chain there. It smells so nice. There we are. It smells so now nice. it could grease all the bearings and everything as well, but that's going to be boring to watch. Plus I don't have my penetrating grease at the moment, so it'll just be messy if we do it with what we have. Yes. But the next thing we have to do is if we look at the tire stem, it's all crooked. Oh. There it is, it's all crooked. So we have to straighten our inner tubes up or else when we pump them up, they're going to pinch and get a hole in them. <laughs> Don't tackle the cameraman. Okay, so here's our crooked valve stem right there. And we need to let all the air out of the tire to uh, straighten that up. So Cohen, yeah? you've got a screwdriver? Yeah. How are you going to let all the air out of the tire? Pop it. Pop it. That would let all the air out of tire, but it would kind of defeat the purpose of trying to save the inner tube. So what we're actually going to do, see that little button mm -hmm. inside that valve? Yeah. You're going to press that with the screwdriver. <laughs> yep, that's it. Keep going. Ooh la la. The cones let all of the air out, which means we can now easily unstick the tire off the rim because they get attached to the rim nicely, and now that it's off, we can twist the tire on the rim. There it goes. Too much. Just like that. That looks pretty square. It takes all the pressure off. There it is. It takes all the pressure off of the inner tube and allows us to bring our valve stem all the way through like that. Now, we can pump our tire back up. So, Joel, any guess what we might use to pump the tire up? This. What's that? Uh, a pump where you pump up the tire. Can I do it? Yeah, so to do that, we screw this on to the valve. Like that. Alright, now I'll hold this so that the valve's in the right place and you can pump it. A few hours later. Okay, let me just do the last thing bit. So there we go. We have a nice straight bow stem that sticks all the way out, no longer getting pinched. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> but our rear one has the same issue. So we're going to do the same thing with the rear. Whilst we're here, we're also just going to go through a 
and tighten up all the other fastening bolts. Make sure everything is safe to ride. So there we go, we've tightened up all our nuts, made sure everything's safe to go. Hello. The last thing that you have to do is look after your bike. So now it's ready to go again, we need to give it a clean and a polish. And this is where WD-40 is good. So we're going to give it a quick spray down with WD-40 and then a rub down with a rag and then she's good to go. So, what was once a worn out giveaway bike is looking good again and ready to ride. You ready to go for a ride, boys? Yeah. But yes, my boys don't know how to ride yet, so that's why I got the bike fixed. They are going to learn right now. They do know how to balance a bike though, so it shouldn't be too hard for them to pick this up. And we've just remembered we have another bike. So Joel and I are going to quickly take the trainer wheels off this bike, clean it up, and then he'll be out on the driveway too. All right, so problem child number three has woken up. He's tagging himself into the game. Come on down, bring your screwdrivers. Infinite power. how it works, you know. I think you're missing it. What are you doing? Farting. You're farting? Oh, that sounds fun. Is it fun?
Does that help you? 